All right, Pickers, we are here again. We're here at Mike, the storage auction, Pirate Storage, and we're gonna do some unboxing. We're gonna do some unboxing from the $34,500 storage unit. There's a wall, a wall of boxes behind me. And we're gonna open some boxes from it. There's gonna be treasures inside, we'll find out. We're here doing unboxing and we came across some photos from a storage unit. And you know what? You you can't show them, but can I? Should I not? I don't know. May, don't show his face. Maybe okay. put just... Oh. Well, there's a man's... There's many, many photos like this and it gets progressive. We're not going to show you the face because that's his privacy. But uh, he he was living life. He uh, Just put your thumb over the face, but show the hair. <laughs> okay, I'll show you the leotard picture. So he was getting, getting down with himself, wasn't he? In the woods, just taking a... <laughs> Is that what you call it? A photo shoot? He was having a photo shoot, yeah. There's a butt shot. You guys want to see the butt shot? So the stuff you find is crazy, but um, let's just say he indulged. All right, so we found some ancient astronaut ice cream. And what better time than COVID to, uh, to eat some expired food? Okay, so it's freeze dries ready to eat space food. We are going to eat this. Oh, you're going to like that. That is a lot better than this. This came with, you see the patches? This came with the freeze-dried food. Are we supposed to like add water or something? They don't have water in space. Oh, boy. Mm. Oh, look, it's Neapolitan. That's good. <laughs> you want chocolate, vanilla, or strawberry? I want the same one you do, so we get the same disease. I think I'm gonna go with this chunk right here. You take a chunk too. All right. You got a white one. I'll get a white one. Locker food challenge. Don't take it. I smell so bad. I smell that. <laughs> you ate the whole thing. Okay. <laughs> Food is bad. It's so not that bad? No, this is bad. Wait, so this is like a dessert for them? Let's try some chocolate. Yeah. All right, let me get a piece of chocolate. The aftertaste is better. First, it's like cardboard, then the flavor kicks in like 30 seconds later. It's not bad. Imagine if you're on freaking Apollo 13 or whatever, you know, you're up in space, space station, you're like got the munchies, <laughs> smoke a little space weed, you know? <laughs> you're like, I'm, I need some ice cream. I'm gonna need to try a piece of strawberry, and then I'm a gall quits, guys. <laughs> this was the astronaut ice cream challenge, and I think Mike won it. I'm about to eat that whole bag. You still want it? I got the munchies. So these patches are cool, though. There's a 1981 to 2011. There's NASA, NASA, NASA. That's cool. We're gonna unbox the same amount of boxes and see whose side of the table has more value at the end. If you grab the box, you gotta go with it. You can't pick it up and set it back down. That's right. And I picked two kind of small boxes, but I think there's something good in them. I'll just show you the hoard after we're done, and we'll see who wins. Okay, so we did the battle. I got- They can't see in mine. Okay. I got three coach purses and a bunch of rare, very desirable train rare, parts. Rare, rare, rare. All the coolest trains and the parts. I think my pile's maybe a four or five hundred dollar pile. Mike's pile, probably about three hundred ninety nine to four hundred ninety nine. Just, just missed. I don't know. I'm quite sure I won, but you know me. <laughs> I like winning. Either way, it was a good series of boxes. I think there's a there's a bunch of value here. And if you want one of these purses, and you're not already subscribed, go to Storage Auction Pirate on the YouTube's. And subscribe, and he'll uh, send you this purse for free. I want to film you opening your trunk. Hey, somebody's pried it open. On seven million. One one thousand. Two one thousand. Ooh. B and B. B I B. Box and box. This one says Wilson County Road. This one almost looks like some precautionary tape. And imagine that, it's got an LGB train light. Yep, it is a train light. I've probably got about 40 of these so far, I don't know. $20, they add up quick. 
we'll just put that right back in the box because we'll list it, pack it, and ship it all out the womb like that. Ooh, what is this? Nice. This is heavy. I'm going to guess a locomotive. No power supply. Power supply. He's got a lot of those, huh? He bought every one of them. I don't know what he was doing. Like, Wait, Did he have 4,600 trains set up throughout his house? He was trying to build garden railways, you know? And I, I, I don't know outside of that. I don't know outside. If you were to win eight million, not two million, not a hundred million, but eight, it's a big chunk of money in California. You can live for six, seven months on that. What's the first three things you would buy or do? I would buy a bunch of pantyhose. We've got those. If I had eight million dollars, the first thing I would do before anything else, secure a home. Okay. I would buy a nice home. It would have my 10,000 square foot dream warehouse. Whew. Fast track to success. Um, so I'd buy at least a million dollar home. I put a little bit aside in accounts for children, right? So that they have money in the future. Good call. Then I would invest the rest in some form. Like I'd buy every storage in the United States in one month or... <laughs> if you were to get a new car, what is your dream car? A 1976 Pino. Really? <laughs> you probably make that happen. Brand new F350 Dually 7.3 Power Stroke truck that'll last me the rest of my life probably costs like 80 90 grand with all the bells and whistles tow anything with tows that. like 29,000 pounds it's not like you're just throwing money and it works like a slot machine that's what people do they put a hundred dollar bill and they pull and they do yeah. it again it's not how you do the storage business it's not because most new storage buyers do not become old storage buyers they no. quit they quit the, the workload and the skill you know the strategy i guess involved in siting out a great unit it's tough I would say that probably nine out of 10 people will not continue doing storage after their first couple. Yeah, and when I did my first couple runs in San Francisco, there was locals that told me I wouldn't be able to handle it. And here we are, thrift store and everything later. Log cabin, Tony La Russa. That's an old one. Wow. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> Bless you. Because they're helping me load up this unit in Oakland and there was a pair of shorts, yachting shorts. And there was... Did you say like yachting? He was like a boat guy, but a big music guy. Honestly, this is my best unit ever. Third unit I ever bought. 300 bucks. I did about 40K in sales off it. Vintage music gear. It was amazing. A pair of yachting shorts that looked like the guy maybe pooped. And I threw them in the trash. And I go, you know what? He took them off so quick. Let's take a look. 56 bucks in the pocket. This is $500 right here in just this one box. Now, that is the, that's the stuff. How often do you find... $500 in one shoebox. It's way better. Right now, the, the ones I look for, here we go, here's a pair of satiny stuff, 20 bucks. Right now, when I'm looking for boxes, or what I'm praying for in every box is those blue Blackstone boxes. Second thing I'm praying for is the Spectrums. So that was a complete store. This looks like a lamp post. A vintage line now. I'm not unimpressed, yeah. but I'm not as impressed. They're still adorable. They are adorable. adorable. There's no price on that piece of lingerie. No price there, but that's a lacy little number. And then we've got pantyhose for your chest. Looking like a mystery. A little combo, buddy. That is it. What is that? A locomotive and a what? A, uh... Love me. A long time. No. <laughs> Love me. Gently. No. Obviously, you didn't watch a lot of Elvis. Love me. Tender. Here, 40. There's another 40. That's 80. Another 40. 120. Nearly nude. Oh, that sounds great. 140. 160. 180. Bigger pack, 200. A Ronda Shears three pack, 225. 250. There was 250 in this one box. It's probably about a $70 car right now. Oh, That's so a lost value, huh? I mean, we, well, yeah, it's been used. It's not been in the thing. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here's a few of the items I found while unboxing Mike's $34,500 wall of boxes. Uh, most expensive unit I've ever heard of. 
and it's there's a reason why because it's full full of really cool stuff so welcome to my don't show this you can't show that because you, you can show the one you're wearing this is the one I'm wearing that's a nice shirt. We have yet to reveal this. I don't want you to give it away before I get a chance to. But if you guys don't already subscribe to this man's channel, which you should because you're on here on his channel. But tell a friend. Go tell the ice cream man. Tell uh, if you're down at the liquor store getting a bottle. If you're at the flea market. Maybe you went to the post office. You know, anywhere you might possibly be. And you're just walking through the crosswalk. There's an old lady. But hey, old lady, how you doing? You look nice today. By the way, I watched this guy Picker's Warehouse and you should subscribe to the channel. Do something like that. Help this man get a thousand subscribers and he'll do live auctions for you.